Yo, straight energy today. Um, just got home, headed to the gym. If you're working today too, get that work in. Get that work in as in like towards your goals, not work, more work, but you know. So yeah, got a fresh ass haircut just in time for my vacation. Uh, let me talk power phase. I just gotta work and you know I'm doing that. Never stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Whatever I lack, add it to my bag. And I got plenty more where that came from. And my price is right, I never change, bro. I don't get it done, get it done right. And that's every day, that's my life. Oh. Quick recap as usual, I've been rehabbing my knee, I did my strength phase, and now I'm switching into the power phase. My strength phase was only like four weeks long, four or five weeks, but I made significant gains, and the phase before that when I hurt my knee was actually a strength phase as well. So I did a strength phase a few months ago, did too much uh, lifting and jumping at the same time, overloaded my knee, rehabbed that, now I did a strength phase. I feel really strong, so I feel like it's time for me to start doing my power phase. I still think I could do more strength, fit, strength training, but I just really wanna get back to jumping. I don't think I'm rushing it, I've thought about it a lot, I overthink it a ton. Anyway, power phase, talking to my boy John, he made it very simple that the power phase is just uh, pushing more weight than you would if you're just jumping with body weight, so more weight than that, and, but less weight than if you're doing strength training, and also that you're trying to move the weight as fast as possible. So today I'm not gonna go as fast as possible because I don't wanna overload my knee and do something super explosive, but I am gonna do a little bit lighter weight, and I'm not really sure, I'm still trying to figure out what's best, I'm still trying to figure out what's best for my power phase because I am monitoring my knee, but my knee feels super strong, thinking back of how much I've lifted and how much stronger it is. I'm just super cautious about it. So the one thing is that I'm being a little bit over cautious with my knee and that's because I've conditioned myself over the past two, three months to be super cautious with it. But when I think about what the lifts I've done and what it's been able to handle, it's way stronger than it was a few months ago. I've been doing isometrics every single day and I've been doing uh, lifting on it with heavy box squats and hip thrusts. So my tendon's really strong. So I think I'm ready to do more things, start pushing it and I gotta push to see what it can handle. And I'm just super pumped, let's get it. Sharing that energy, let's feed off each other. I'm fucking working, let's go. I don't even know, I'm just super I just want to start jumping and dunking. Still gonna get that goal in like 38 days, 36 days, I don't know, something like that, I'm gonna be dunking. That's my goal, it's like April 18th, something like that, let's get it. Length training, jump training, it's very complicated. Uh, there's different muscle fibers. I definitely suggest watching Daniel's videos about strength adaptations to learn about how the fossil, the fossils, the muscle fibers get recruited for fast twitch to slow twitch, because I learned a lot even just today um, that I thought slow training, you're going to switch your fibers to slow twitch, but it's not the case. Even though you're moving slow, it's still maximum tension which is going to be fast twitch. It's very interesting and um, definitely check it out. I told the guy, yo, give me the best looking toupee you got. This is what he gave me. So just remember that and you have so much to learn and so much so many people you could talk to and learn from to just keep searching for your own problems and keep uh, Giving your body exactly what you need and we out here. I'm telling you there's a lot of work to do But you can make it happen and we're making it happen. Let's go
good workout. We shall see. Feeling really good after that. It felt good to jump with no pain. Uh, definitely could flare it up, but you gotta push it a little bit to figure out where your limit is because I've been super cautious and now it's time to kind of push it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so just keep working. Every little detail is gonna be complex. There's gonna be a million different ways it can go, but you gotta just keep working, figuring out what works for you, but also trying to take the smart approach so you don't just go blindly into things. But always working. I know it seems like I'm doing this and I'm flip-flopping and things like that, but I'm definitely not just trying to take into account every little factor that goes into training. Let's get it. I'm super pumped, feeling great. My mobility is probably the best it's ever been right now. I've matched it, I've got. I've been this mobile before, but now I'm looking to excel at it, exceed it, and um, yeah, I got vacation in five days about. We're just gonna be walking a lot, so it's kind of like a recap, not a recap. It's gonna be kind of a deload week for me where I just kind of take, take a week off from lifting, but this week feels great. And uh, after that, probably just increasing my jumping and a little bit of weight on the power phase. I'm still figuring it out, so stick with me, and uh, let me know if you have any questions because I'm here to answer them, and let's get it, let's work, keep working, share that energy, let's go. Oh, yeah.